backyard. Well, this morning I'm going to show you the front yard that is also fertilized with my natural, free, abundant, and organic fertilizer for these plants that I highly recommend you use too, and that is urine mixed with water. Now, I have a friend who lovingly uh, chastises me for even talking about this, so I am making this video, especially for those of you who think this is gross. Now, I have planted some new things. I like to change up my yard. There's that. That's a guara. Of course, these are red-tipped yucca. Here are the purple fountain grass in their dormant season. And of course, when they're dormant, there's another one. When they're dormant, they do not uh, have their beautiful plumes yet, but they love urine mixed with water. What I like about purple fountain grass is I can cut it up. And hello, Raphael. Here's one of my cats. And see, he's in his clubhouse of sage and he loves to have those that hay there is purple fountain grass uh, cut down to the ground because you do that every year. Uh, again, this pompous grass is not doing that great. Okay, now, here we go. Here is my bucket of urine and water mix. I keep this on my front porch and just go outside and tinkle on my front porch. I, when I decided to start doing this, I put up blinds. That's japonica. Obvi I can see out perfectly fine, but nobody can see in and know what I'm doing until now <laughs> all right i keep a lid on it notice you don't see any flies hovering around again i will make a proper video about how i keep flies away so this is urine mixed with water i start off with half a bucket of water and then i tinkle in my bucket for the rest of the day i had to turn this water on here from the hose because i'm going to fill this up see when it doesn't fill up the top you want to fill up the rest of the way with water. Meanwhile, here's another plant. I can't remember its name. And that little plant over there, these are new plants I'm planting. Plus, I'm doing vegetables behind back there, and I'll be planting those later. At any rate, the only thing is I wish I could do more of this because you see the honeysuckle needs to bloom better than it's been. It's not blooming that well right now. So I'm going to fill this up with water and then pour it out on my plants. And I won't make a close-up of this. Nobody really wants to look at a bucket full of urine. Uh, that's a pompous grass over there. This pompous grass looks gorgeous over here, but I put, put down, cut down its old plumes. Those are old plumes, too. In the uh, summer, new plumes will come out and it will be absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, we... On average, the person a person urinates seven times a day. If you have a two-gallon flush commode, like I do, or 1.6 or whatever it is, uh, that's saving you 10 to 14 gallons of water per day that you are not flushing the commode. And instead, you're coming out to your bucket to tinkle, so you're saving water at the same time. This is a 28-pound leftover cat litter bucket. Okay, that's enough. Now I'll just put that in there and mix that up because you do want to dilute your urine and water. Then I'll put this over here. I'm going to have a hose on. I'm not going to let it go to waste. But I'm going to turn that off. It needs to be turned off. I live in the desert. Get that off. Look at that horrible soil we have. That's my hole I dug for some vegetables. These are my little vegetables I'm going to plant over here. This isn't enough room for all those vegetables. This is room for maybe two. And then of course, then I'll, I'll have to get potting soil, put it over that, and then dig another hole over here so that my little vegetable patch will do fine. Listen, you can water, and I encourage you to put urine mixed with water onto your vegetables. I did last year, last year I did a couple of pepper plants. I swear, I couldn't believe how much peppers they were giving one plant would gave at least 60 60 peppers I couldn't believe it at any rate this is new plant and I haven't fertilized it yet so now I will with my urine in a bucket give it a little fertilizer there see it just needs a little bit when they're starting out and of course you have to mix your fertilizer which is urine with water so that you don't burn your plants you'll have different formulas for this here's another little bucket getting 
Oh, here's some of my leftover poppies. Poppies are in season only in March and April. It's May now, and so they've gone dormant. And the way I run my yard, I have a lot of birds that like to come out and eat up the seeds and play with this leftover stuff to make their nests. What I do is just I just let it look like this for a couple of weeks because the poppies are putting out their seeds, the birds are coming to get all this stuff for nests, and then I will grind that into the ground, actually, and tidy it up. And here's this little plant here. And it needs its little fertilizer. There we go. And then, I think this is starting to look a little yellow. Has a little bit, this is garlic which tastes great. At any rate, you can put your urine water combination on your vegetables. I highly recommend that. My vegetables grew like I couldn't believe last year and it does not affect the taste. Now as I'm doing this, you notice flies aren't flying around. I will make a proper video about how I scare my flies away. And this thing, this will start to come out in June. We did have a uh, snow this winter. Snow's very rare here, but we got seven inches of snow this winter. I'm in zone 8B. It's important to know what zone you live in. Always look it up. You can Google that online. Your zone. I'm in zone 8B. Purple fountain grass are really a zone 9 plant on up, but you know, they normally last for a good long time. But we had a very cold winter this past winter. I don't know if these purple fountain grass survived it. But normally they don't put, for me, they don't put out their green and then turning into purple grass parts until late May and June. And we're having an incredibly cool May. I mean, normally we're at 100 degrees by now. Instead, we're having highs of 85 to 89. It's wonderful. So, good morning. I just uh, dumped my wee wee in a bucket, tinkle in a bucket stuff on some plants. Now, what I'll do is fill the rest of this bucket up so you can kind of see the demarcation line in the bucket the water goes up to about that line and then i tinkle in it for the rest of the day and at the end of the day i pour it out onto plants i only did it this morning because i'm making this video especially for my friend who thinks this is absolutely disgusting and for anybody else who thinks this is disgusting well look i just did this you don't see flies hovering around you don't see you know, well, I, I can't show you this, that there's no smell, but there's no smell. And plants love this because believe me, these plants would be yellow with nitrogen de deficiency if I didn't do this. Thank you for listening. I wonder what I should end with a picture. <laughs> well, 